trending we are live you know we don't <laughs> sleep on the bicycle we're back <laughs> again this week my name is like you all know and i got my um my nigerian oh. tiwa <laughs> tani in the building Oh, oh, so that's my name. I'll take it. T-Y. I'll take it. Yeah, it's training. It's Mommy's TV, and we're back again here yeah, live on DNC Radio. Uh, glory be to God for uh, keeping us throughout the week. And we're back here. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody Happy out there. Happy Thanksgiving. Like, I was the talkie. Oh, my, the talkie they gave me in my friend's place. I still have something in my house. Oh, okay. Big, 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 big old turkey. Yeah. Thanks to everybody, and uh, we always appreciate you guys for staying here to support Thank us. You. Like, uh, and shout out to all our YouTube subscribers. <laughs> like, next episode is going to be live on YouTube. Yes. Like today, we couldn't have time to uh, put a lot of things together to let you come live on uh, on YouTube. But we'll do better we'll next do better. week. <laughs> we'll, do better. we'll do better. So today, Tani, I don't want to, I don't want to ask that question. I want you to be the one. To tell them the topic for today. Oh, okay. You put me on blast. Yeah. I gotta ask the question. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, we got we got some some heavy stuff going on today. Um, our topic for today is: Would you take your spouse back after cheating? Hmm. That's heavy. It's really serious. You know, it it happens. A lot of people don't want to talk about stuff like this, but you know, life is life. Hmm. It happens. So. It happens, man. Yeah, I think it needs to be discussed. What what what, what, I, what I would say about this is depend on that woman. Okay. There, there's some qualities that a woman needs to have when you're in a relationship or when you're in love or when you're in, uh, in a marriage with someone. If I have a woman like Jaruma, do you know Jaruma? No. Ah, you need to, you need to go <laughs> to on Instagram and search for at Jaruma Empire. Okay. If I have a woman like that, I'm sorry to say, I know a lot of people will come on me and say, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Like, even if it's fake, even if it's, she's faking it, I don't care, but the guy is not complaining. If I have a woman that has some quality that I need, like, you can cook good food, you okay. can clean my house, can cook, you can, can you know, you, 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 can, you, can, you can make the house look juicy, you know, not a woman that make house look saucy. If you, you, if you don't have some qualities, if you don't even cheat, like, okay. if you do something similar, What's similar? A lot of things are similar, like chatting, like trying to talk okay, to men, friendly you know, conversations. Friendly conversations. All that can make me throw you out. <laughs> but if I if I actually know he that said throw you out, like my my my, my <laughs> wife or my girlfriend Che, and I see some quality that she got, mm-hmm. I can I can still I can make it work. Like I'm always like call her and sit her down. You don't need anything out there, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but 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 some people say no 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 I won't take it. I think over and over these questions before today. I think about it like, can I actually take it? But when I look at the way the whole life is right now, is from like like woman like Alakija, follow me. Alakija is uh, the most richest black woman in the world. Okay. If she's, if she's yeah, my woman okay. and she cheat, because I told you the other episode, like there's a lot of way, there's a lot of thing that can make some a man or a woman cheat. Oh, name one, just one, not name cheap, one thing. Not a cheap cheating. I'm coming about that. Okay. All right. Cheap, Let's circle cheating, back on around. I'll okay. let you know about All right. that. Okay. But what I'm talking about is if my wife or my or my babe cheat on me and I and, and I, I can see some quality that that she has, maybe mm-hmm. that was just a weak a weakness. I can I can work I can work on it. Okay, and I think that's fair. I do. I honestly think that's fair. Like according to my beliefs, mm-hmm. which is biblical, like you have a choice to either leave or to stay. And I don't think anybody should feel bad if they choose to, yeah. you know, stay with their spouse mm-hmm. because I've had friends, you know, their spouse cheated on them and mm-hmm. they worked it out and it was fine. You know, but I've been in that situation. I took my spouse back after cheating and it got worse. So me, mm-hmm. no, I'm not going through that again like my thing is I take marriage seriously. Right. And if you took a vow to be with me, you took a vow to be with me. And it shouldn't be like, you know, as a mature adult, right. it's I don't see an excuse. Like I understand life happens, thing happens, but I don't see an excuse. Like I just that's a deal breaker for me. I'm not mm-hmm. going through that again. Like that's just if I were were when I get remarried and God forbid if that happens right. again, it is I'm gone. I'm out of there. Yeah, let's ask Kinda people simple. in the house out there, like, if it happens to you that your partner, your wife, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend cheat, will you take him or her back? 
I, Aladdin, I said, this is life. This is this is big. This it's is life. social media. This is this this is the world. I'm talking to the world. I'm mm-hmm. gonna take that woman back if she have some quality. Because not everybody have the quality that I want in a woman. Right. But if I find a woman that have the quality that I want in a woman, and one way or the other something happened and she cheat on me, I don't take her. I, I would I would take her back. That's good. And I stand to say no. Don't cheat on me because I'll be <laughs> go- I'll be gone like instinct gone. That's I mean that's just what it is. But 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 let me ask you a question. What if? Oh, shit. Before, let me let me give, let me give you this, this to the number because the, the question for today it's 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 somewhat funny. It's not funny to me. It's not funny. It's reality life. Bro. It's real. No, but let me give you the studio line again so you can call in and uh, let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. Will you take your spouse back after cheating? And the studio uh, number is eight one seven seven one seven five six eight five. Yeah, we Will you take your spouse you. back after cheating? You said no. Mm-hmm. You have your own reason yeah. for saying that. Been there, done that. Do you want me to, you want me to say greedy like that? You can share that shit. You know? I mean, I'm just, I'm done. Like, I just, I've been there mm-hmm. before. And, you know, with me, I take marriage so seriously. Like, and the kind of wife that I was, I was a very catering wife. You know, I, mm. I took pride in being a wife. Mm. I'm not going to say I was perfect. No right. person is perfect. But I tried and I was loyal and I rode for my man. Like, mm. it wasn't nothing he can do that I didn't back him up, you know. And to me that was the ultimate betrayal but still i chose to take him back but the thing with my marriage is he never even with the solid evidence in both of our faces he never admitted to it so that's another thing if your spouse will not admit Mm -hmm. to cheating so you can move forward i don't think that it'll work out anyway but it's different like if he would have said okay just been honest i did this this happened let's work it out Mm -hmm. you know let's move forward let's make it happen but he never admitted Jeez. to that and then now okay so my in my head you never admitted to it so you plan on doing it again hmm. basically and then you're walking around with your phone locked and it's having secret <laughs> conversations in the bathroom and that's giving me as a wife a reason to be insecure and not trust you but then i'm getting blamed for being insecure when you're giving me a reason that just causes problems so i don't have time for that I don't. That's why I'm saying moving forward. That's a deal breaker. No, I'm I'm out of there. But that, that reminds me of uh, one question I want to ask everybody out there <laughs> and you personally. I, I, Do you I'm think is 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 good or is bad to lock your phone for your partner <clears throat> or for anybody for any reason? I say in a marriage, like that's just me personally and some people think oh it's my phone my business but in a marriage what do you have to hide like i didn't lock my phone because i i had nothing to hide you can go through my phone my husband could pick up my phone anytime and go through it or you know i say oh he needs to use my phone to look up something on the internet while he's on his phone go you know have at it because i have nothing to hide but him going around locking his phone why we're married what are you hiding like I don't under I don't understand that concept. What do you think? But, I don't understand but, 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 it. But it's phone, you know, it's it's mobile. I think it's that. See, this this, this is what I'm saying about when it, when it comes to marriage. You know, uh, I think we we need to we need to try to uh, work on, on on stuff. You know, okay. because when 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 um I don't know whoever creates <laughs> marriage or maybe it's the Bible or the Quran how it happens. I don't know. But what I'm saying is the 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 the, the world we are living now is not the world we live in couple of years back yes that's right yeah i can when there's yeah. no social media when there's mm-hmm. no even phone mm-hmm. you know what i mean like like in africa we, we it take it take us a, a lot of time uh long time before we started using phone right. in nigeria you know what right. I mean? so now that we have phones there's something my friend can discuss with me about his personal life right mm-hmm. like my messages maybe i'm trying to talk to somebody out there not cheating but i have some things about you know, maybe my, my comfort with my friends so why do you want to read it why do you want to know all that that is why I said in marriage, the way we handle marriage, in, we let's say we, I don't know how white people have never dated white people before. I don't know how they <laughs> handle their marriage, but we black, <laughs> we, we always put that marriage for head. Like, like, see, it is two in the, it is two people. This is this is you. This is me. You know what I mean? Like, if I if I love you and I marry you, that should be enough for you to know that this guy loves me. Coming into my phone, want to take my phone, want to take my mail. I don't think it, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, depend on what I do. Like I, I blog. I have people's stories. I have people have some videos. I don't want to 
push out there right now. I have some things I don't want to say out right now that I have on my phone. So if you see as a woman, you can text somebody and it's out. I mean it's out. So mm-hmm. I believe I want to keep my phone. Don't go, don't come to my phone. Let me have my phone. It's my life. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to like say okay, it's good or it's not or it's not good for, for me. I believe partners is you know we, we, are, we are my wife. I won't touch your phone. Don't touch mine. Uh, well, I mean, okay, I can understand that it's privacy, but like I still don't. I don't get it because I'm like. You shouldn't have anything. high. Like me as a wife, I'm not going to go through my husband's phone if I don't have a reason to. Mm-hmm. Like in my case, I had a reason to. And if I would have never went through my husband's phone, I never would have found out about the affair because mm-hmm. he had something to hide. To hide right? Now, if I had a husband that was honest and, you know, he didn't have if he didn't walk around with his phone like he didn't act secret. If I have no reason to go through your phone, yeah. I'm not going to sit there and pick up your phone just because it's there. Mm-hmm. You know, but if I say, oh, babe, let me use your phone. I need to look up something on the Internet. My phone is not working or something. That shouldn't be a problem. You yeah, know, no, that's, that's that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. It's not the point that I'll just need to have your phone unlocked or have your password yeah. because I want to go snooping through stuff. It's just the point that you shouldn't have anything to hide from me For real, in For a real. marriage. Because yeah. what the way I see marriage, when two people become one, you become one. Yes, right. you're still individuals, but you're now cleaved together. My belief is, and the person who I married said their beliefs was the same. You leave your parents and you cleave with your wife or your husband. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. So I don't see the reason to be sneaky, sneaky and having phone locks and secret conversations and all this stuff. I don't I just I don't get it. And that's why I said it's that's a deal breaker for me. Like that goes back to the would you take your spouse back after cheating? No, I, I already did no. that. No, it's mm-hmm. the streets because I've been there before and I took him back. I did. And I'm not saying all men are the same, but why would I want to put myself through that again if I've already been there? Yeah, if, if, if I said yes, that I'm going to take my, uh, my my partner or my wife or my girlfriend back after she's not like me, I want, him, I want her to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> some people <laughs> are just traveling. Some people just, they're just those kind of people. They'll just keep doing it. Well, it depends on who, what kind of person you marry. If you do it once <laughs> and you give me the reason and I see that quality in you, if I woman out there, I don't know, don't cheat on your man, please. And Man, dies. don't cheat on your women. Do, yeah, don't cheat on your woman. <laughs> but if my woman cheat on me, and I ask, I'm just talking about that quality. Mm-hmm. I don't just, I don't just, I don't want to be with any how woman. I don't want to be with a figurehead wife. You know, you must have some quality. Right. There must be some value. You must have some value, not financial value. I'm talking about there are some things that you need to have that that will make me feel like, oh, I don't want this woman to go. Of you know course, what I mean? That's yeah. the reason I said there's different kind of cheating. Why I say that is because okay, like 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 let me let me give you an example. Okay, please. It's not by you having sex with another partner that is cheating. Okay. If you're hanging okay. out, if you're trying to hang out with hang out with uh, somebody out there that like, have a friend of mm-hmm. like all those bestie stuff, mm-hmm. it's to me it's still cheating. I agree. Because you mustn't share that feelings with anybody. That's right. But but it when if it happens that you did, and I see that myself and I check it, I balance it like I said, this woman, no, no, no. She got it. I was like, okay, I will talk to her. Are you gonna change? And she said, oh, I'm gonna this a mistake or blah 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 blah. She give me some excuse. I can I can just forgive her. Okay, and that's a good. I think that's a good level headed. Like I I believe that that's good. You know, and yeah. I, like I said, going back to it, everybody has a right to you know take their spouse back right. after after cheating and it doesn't make you a dumb person or gullible Mm -hmm. i don't think that at all like i think that it's good you know to reconcile your marriage just for me personally i just wouldn't go through that again just because i've been through it and it did not work out in my favor Mm -hmm. you know so you know it's deep this is life this is what we do this is trending and this is what we talk about i will keep trending every day and uh shout out to uh people that have been supporting us uh, that have been making our shows come up to uh to you Shout out to uh, our day Yemi, uh, and shout out to uh, our vendors. Shout out to Glory Boutique. Uh, shout out to Morok Collections. I think they have a new new stuff right there. You can go and check them out. Morok's collection on, on Collins and uh, Gloria Boutique. They have uh, new Italian stuff out there. Go and check them out. And uh, shout out to Trendy Touch Makeover on Paonia. <laughs> Uh, shout out to everyone that is making our our show training. I, I believe you're going to be Thank you so too. much. Shout out to Mrs. Catherine <laughs> uh, Duro Jai. Uh, and shout out to everybody out there and Overcome Media. Like, if possible, a man will not cheat, 
and woman will not cheat. There's a reason why that word cheats living in this life. Sometimes okay. we need to take something the way it is. Like we're talking about you you allow your, your partner to uh, to put lock on his phone, blah blah blah. You said no 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 you don't want that. There's some things that don't have to just happen and we need to take it. We need to sometimes expand a little bit it, more. Yeah. What I'm talking about is if 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 you said okay this man is not good, oh I want him to go, this one is not good. I'm not having hundred percent sure that all man in this world are good. You just need to just keep work, working on yourself. But if you are a man out there, you keep doing the wrong thing to your partner and you don't want to change, that is bad. I agree with that, but should it take all that? Like, should a person have to go endure cheating and cheating just to have a relationship? Why can't, you know, if a person enters into a relationship, why can't they just enter into that relationship and be right? Like, why does it have to even... Why do we have to even take it there? Do you know? Do you, do you know? Sometimes, something that is just disease. Or let, let, me, let me use something. Just, there's something that some men or some woman do that just a sickness. It's just a sickness. Yes, I say it's just a decision. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't believe in that. It's just a no. You just not you personally, but for the people that do that, and I know one of them it's personally. Don't, I don't cheat though. It's just trifling like that's just what you do it's not a sickness that's just your decision some people don't appreciate a good man or a good woman and they just jump from man to man or from woman to woman but that's a decision i don't think that's a sickness that it, people know exactly what they're doing if you ask me and my thing is these people need to be held accountable it's mm -hmm. not spiritual i don't think it is it's not spiritual it's not a sickness no it's a decision you do what you do because you're not being held accountable people are always covering up for you right. and because you don't think that you're doing anything wrong hmm. that's how i see it so as a woman what oh. what do you really uh order some cheating? music break oh. we'll be right we'll back. back that question <laughs> is deep <laughs> Anybody wait to say when I can get Oh, yeah, make you not be a good girl, yeah Why you the jealous, my jealous? Why you not go fry your buff buff? Yeah, every day Why you the jealous, my jealous? Why you not go fry your buff buff? Every day you go the bluff Oh, yeah, give me the action, whoa. I go show you many things where you never see Bad boy thing, I go cause controversy I am bad at that, you know Ay. So make you know they look me Know they look me, the things say you know me Coded things, but I hope so you know this I am stronger than you know Ay. So make you bring the action What your eyes never see from the ghetto You think first, you know me, say a little You go no say parts, not be Plato Ay. Them they feel like a sample them they feel the reading for them belly Anybody will test up when I get there Boy I make you not be a good girl yeah. Why you the jealous my jealous Why you not go fry your buff buff yeah, Every day you go the bluff Boy I give me the action whoa. Why you the jealous my jealous Why you not go fry your buff buff Every day you go the bluff Boy I give me the action whoa. Why you the jealous, my jealous? Why you not go fry up buff buff? 
Every day you go the bluff. Oh, you give me the action. Oh, why you the jealous, my jealous? Why you not go fry up my puff? Every day you go the bluff. Oh, you give me the action. Oh, Alice. Yes. Let's say, let's say the first time. Yup, yup, yup. Turn the microphone on, mommy's TV, baby. We about to make it trending, 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 trending with another time. You know what it is? It's trending, baby. Don't touch it, don't switch it, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Mommy's TV. Trending. And it's trending. You know what it is? We're not sleeping on the bicycle. It's still the question <laughs> and the topic is, would you take your spouse back after cheating? I think we have a company supporting us, right, on the show. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Now, we do have a new fresh author we mentioned briefly on our past show. But we want you to call in if you have children. We have a new children's book from a new children's author. Her name is Ase Otite. Yeah. And it's called Happy Starville. You can reach her at happystarville.com. And her Instagram, the handle is at Happy Starville. It is a great children's book. She is an awesome new author. It's very educational, informative, and very entertaining. So we do have three copies to give away. If you would like a copy and you call in, we'll mail it to you. Happy Starville. Free. <laughs> yeah. Free 99. Before we go back to the topic, let me say shout out to people that are staying out there uh, to uh, support us and watch us. And please, as I always say, please share this video with your friends. Yes, and it's going to cost you anything. It's free. If you share anything <laughs> on your page, on your Facebook, it's free. Facebook is not going to charge you for that. Uh, shout out to Koya Eri Tayo. <laughs> shout out to Kende Akindele. Shout out to Shiko Jordan. Shout out to Chiu Cheesy. Chiu Cheesy. How do you pronounce this? Help me out. Chew Z. Shoe. Shoe Z. I think. Thank you for watching. Adelaja. Adenike. Abolo Wotan. Oh, wow. That name is very interesting. And shout out to Olakpaki. Shout out to Idayat. Adenike. Thank you. Shout out to uh, Ogenero <laughs> Dennis. Okay. Shout out to Godness Michael. Shout out to Mark Badru. And shout out to uh, Chitsu Mukaila. All the way from uh, Kotunu. Oh wow! So I've been seeing a lot of mail, a lot of people sending me DMs saying, "Why mm-hmm. will you say that? How will you take your wife? How will you take your guy back? Are you, are you sure you can do it? Are you not just drunk? I'm, I'm for real. That's that's good. There are some quality yeah. that women need mm-hmm. in a woman, and would I know there's not all women that have that quality. So if I have a woman that have that quality, and uh, one way or the other, she do something wrong and cheats, I will take her back. I think that's good, y'all. That's a good man right there. Yeah, good man. He better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So what? What? So what? What do you actually uh, actually consider cheating? Uh, me, what I consider cheating, any type of romantic involvement. Like you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. These people, these cheaters, they know what they're doing. They can try to be slick and say, oh, no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. You knew what you were doing. So romantic conversation, you mm-hmm. sliding in DMs, mm-hmm. you having conversations on the side, yeah. flirting, uh, kissing, or obviously, you know, sexual contact. But, you know, I think it's any type of romantic involvement. If you are married, and this says, you know, the topic is spouse. So I'm speaking about marriage. You know, if you are married, I don't think you have any reason to be involving yourself romantically, even if it's just conversation with anybody outside of your spouse. Hmm. That's just my personal opinion. So, so in uh, because in I won't lie to you in uh, in Africa, we, we don't. What cheat. y'all do over we, there? It's not. It's not our culture. It's not of your culture to, to cheat. cheat. Okay. That is the reason why uh, you can uh, is allowed in part of Nigeria. But I think in, in, okay. the, in the uh, Islamic culture, in the mm-hmm. Islamic uh, religion, you have opportunity to have 
one, two, three, four, four. wives. Yeah, but I mean, I understand that. That's their culture. So, can I mean, you, can you take that? Oh, heck no. Wow. No, no. But that's why, you know, that's not my culture. <laughs> But if I was raised in that and didn't know anything else, then, I mean, that'd just be part of who I was. Let me tell you a little story about me. Do All you right. Know, do you know I'm, I'm from a very big family? Okay. Like my dad has eight wives. Hallelujah. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah. He and said like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight wives? Yeah. How, yeah, many, kids, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Shit. Yeah, you don't yeah. even know? <laughs> I don't know some of my siblings, but I do too. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm, my, my, I, 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 uh, my dad, uh, I lost my dad like uh, a couple of months oh, ago at the age of 93 years. You know, he's oh, a very good man. Yeah, good he's life. a very good man. And how this wife always come together, we always eat. When we, when we still live together, because after some years, I think we leave, um, and my mom like, let me have my house and let me just stay mm -hmm. on my own. No, I mean, but, but we always, we, he's good. There's love Ooh. in it. That kind of a man will not cheat. How, well, he don't have a reason to. He got to, to pick from eight, so he ain't got no reason to cheat. <laughs> Be a problem. So you can't fall into that, into that situation. No, that's me. But some people like okay, but for that was an agreement that your mom and the other wives mm -hmm. they agreed to that. Now that I understand. Hey, that's y'all. That's what you choose to do. Mm -hmm. But for the people that are going into a marriage expecting it to be one woman, one man, that's like is that what your culture says? You know, I mean, that's yeah. I mean, my culture. Yeah, one woman, one man, yeah. Uh-huh. And then again, like my beliefs are biblical, which is one woman, one man. The word too, but that's not what he really, really believed. But you know, I'm saying that's okay mm -hmm. if if the woman or the man agrees into a non monogamous relationship. I was actually talking to one of our viewers about that and she said um, in her marriage, her husband did. She she was married to a foreigner, not um, mm. not African. I think he was an islander, Jamaican. Wow. And she said it was okay if he cheated as long as he was honest. And she was kind of okay with having an open relationship. Okay, that's an agreement that y'all right. are making. So that's okay. But I think that for those who who go into marriages, they should be given that option. Hmm to either agree to that or not don't enter into a marriage under false pretenses knowing that you have no intentions to be a husband or a wife knowing that you're going to be all out there huh. cheating all the huh. time it just be honest yeah. you know and you give know. that other person a choice huh. to enter into that agreement or not i think that's fair that's fair yeah you, you, have, you mm -hmm. have your own point everybody have their own point i have my own reason why i said uh yeah, if my woman cheat on me i'm going to take her back because yeah. let me tell you one thing about this life i tell people if, if you are my friend if I check you out, like, you didn't have any value to my life, mm -hmm. I would throw you away. I won't pick your call again. Just to the tragedy. Just toss them. Awesome. <laughs> you know Out what I mean? <laughs> because, because I don't, I think uh, we have, we have, uh, we have a caller right here from oh, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, okay. Uh, can I pick these produce on the house? Can I? Okay, let's see, let's see what she want to talk about. Caller. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. This is Martha. Oh, good, good afternoon, Mrs. Mara. Hey, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Minnesota. Wow, thanks so much. Uh, our topic is, will you take your spouse back after cheating? <laughs> it's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all depends. Hmm. Um, firstly, um, you know, you have to know your spouse. Hmm. Secondly, the duration of the relationship. Mm -hmm. How long have you guys been together? Hmm. So if any cheating occurs, then you have to find out where the leakage was. Hmm. Because I know that men don't, um, sex for men is not equal to love. Hmm. So men cheat for different reasons. So if it's for me, I'm not going to leave my husband because he cheated. I'll try to find out what was lacking without letting to go out but if it's consistent then i'm not gonna take him back hmm hmm okay. hmm that's fair that, that, <laughs> that's that, fair that. wow mata you 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 speak my mind like you know <laughs> thanks so much like uh, like you you know it it, it it is what it is it is yes so if it's consistent hmm. every time then then he has a problem to to figure out hmm. um, if, by yes, himself but if it's once 
we didn't get it. Wow. Hmm. That's okay, deep. That's fair. Wow. Thanks so much. Thank you. Matt, I really appreciate your calling today. Like, <laughs> thanks for supporting us. And uh, please share the video and let people listen to you, listen to us, and let's see what we can bring out of this. Do you have uh, a kid or you have a nephew, cousin that we can give a, this book to? Which book is that? Yeah, we I do have a nephew, but they are kind of like two years, three years old. Oh, this oh, is perfect. Wow, wow, wow. Real time stories. Okay, please. <laughs> I want you to uh, send us your address to this number. I'm going to ship this book to you. Wow. Oh, all right. All right. They need this book. They need this book. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mrs. Matt. I really appreciate and please keep supporting us. Let us make it training. Thank you. you know, and please tell your friend to tell your friend that training is training every day. Thanks so I, much. I, lo I love Tanya. I mean, I, I like what she does. I follow her on Instagram. She's very motivational. Oh, encouraging. Thank you so wow. much. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank Thanks so much. You. Thanks so much. God bless you. <laughs> Thanks for supporting us. Thanks so much. <laughs> And join us again next week on Saturday. We'll be here again sure. to call us and share with, uh, and let us talk about any of our topic. Thanks so much, Miss Mata. Sure, bye. God bless bye -bye. you. Bye. bye. Wow. Hmm. That's deep. You, see, you, you can see from my point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. See, I agree. She I said, agree. "I'm not going to throw my husband away because mm -hmm. of because mm -hmm. some women they didn't even want to even spend uh, passive any perf string perf. They were like, oh." It is not about that. Find out what is making that happen. Find out Some people don't want to work. They, they don't want to work on anything in their relationship because they don't really fully, really, really, really love that person for real. I don't think they really fully love the person for real if they decide to cheat. Well, why are you taking that thing so personal? Hey, because it personally happened to me, so I have per <laughs> I have personal experience behind wow. it. Wow, that's my opinion. Hmm. So, 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 there is not any uh, quality a man we have in your life that would make you feel like, oh, I don't want to leave this guy. Huh? I mean, I did. You know, like I said, I took my husband back after he cheated. Yeah. But he continued doing yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. It just got worse and worse and worse after that. I fought for my marriage. I fought in, on my knees in prayer. I fought trying to get to go to marriage counseling. I hmm. wanted to redeem for something I didn't even do. It's like I was trying to make up for something I didn't do like I was the one that cheated. Really? Trying to save my marriage. I'm just not willing to go through that again. Hmm. So, let future husband out there, future husband Are you of, searching? Of me, are, you, are you trying to search? Whoever's searching I, I, for me, don't cheat because I, I, I'll leave you. Okay? Wow. Don't cheat. I'll leave you. Wow. Let me say shout out to people staying <laughs> out there for listening to us, like watching us live uh, all the way from uh, Dallas DFW right here. We are, we are, we are, I'm telling you right now, if you haven't downloaded Dixon's radio on your Apple, Please start do. acting yes. you missing it. And shout out to Samson Alabi. Shout out to uh, Euphoria, Euphoria. That's my guy from way back from Dubai. Oh. Shout out to Olu Amani. Thanks all you all for uh, you. for watching us, and thanks to everybody that's still staying out there uh, watching us. So 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 it's it's over when you find out your, your guy cheat um, now. From from now, yes, yeah. I just I don't have time for it. I, I mean, for and that, that would be discuss prior to and then again i would take my time dating hmm. as well you know whoever i enter into a relationship to so they know hmm. you know this is just not what i'm going to accept and i think that especially as women that it's okay to have those standards it's like hmm. a lot of the time we are forced or not forced we're expected to have our standards low right. you know like we're expected to to be okay with our husband cheating. But I say that, like, your mindset, that's mm -hmm. rare with a man because I don't think men can have no cheating. I think if it was the other way around, if I would have cheated on my husband, he would have threw my butt out. <laughs> like, because y'all, I'm sorry, a lot of men are big babies. Like, y'all cannot handle women cheating. Mm. It, it just hurts, it, a different kind of hurt. Like, and that's just society, what I've noticed. Like, women, we tend to be very forgiving mm. and take our men back, but let us cheating we're labeled as a jezebel or as a whore mm -hmm. or a whoremonger and all kind of stuff because we cheated and that's like in the church society too hmm. like women are taught to pray 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 for your husband pray for your husband keep your marriage but when a woman cheats it's like we're labeled as a jezebel wow. you know and that that's just what it is hmm. what that's you deep. think about that that's deep tiny i would take my spouse back <laughs> So you don't know about all that. Yeah, but <laughs> be, 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 because I don't believe I don't believe uh, I don't believe uh, in the, uh, I don't believe like I need to let someone out there be uh, be hundred percent good uh, or you know because I, I believe I'm not I'm not good either. Right. You know? I, I can I don't have the mind of cheating my own partner you mm -hmm. know but uh, but I'm just saying it if I have a partner that I've 
those qualities that I need in a woman, you know, I I, I can always like work on anything that make her cheat. You know what I mean? So I, I don't good. want to just like say, okay, I want to jump from this one to this one, from this one to this one. So men or some women right now, they have more than five uh, 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 baby fathers because mm-hmm. of they trying to look for that perfect man, not knowing there's no any perfect man uh-huh. out there. We just have to work on each other, work on ourselves. Yeah, I and mind you, I'm sorry, Tani. Tani, let me tell you one thing. Some women don't actually know a man that is actually ready for marriage. Marriage is not a, a football game. Marriage is not a, 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 a Nintendo that right. you want to play. Marriage is something you need to make sure you are ready. I agree. Yeah, marriage is not something you, you because your 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 cousin is doing your your cousin is, your mm-hmm. cousin is married your sister is no 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 you don't do that you need to make sure you are ready ready you are for fully ready because marriage is another word entirely. Oh yeah, it's it not be, yeah it's you, you, not you, easy. You know it's, it's not it's easy. Beautiful though. Let me say shout out to people staying out there that just joined the show right now. I have uh Sese Jacobs, I have Adero Ju Ladega, I have Thank Charlie you. Gay. Mm-hmm. Donald Sin and I have Otumba Adedeji Adekonle. Shout out to every one of you and we really appreciate you staying there to Thank watch you. us. But please do a favor, <laughs> share this video. Let people out there know that Aladdin and Tani, we are live on Mommy's TV and it's trending. So we have a new segment. Yes. Let's bring that out. Trending and blending. blending. <laughs> it is coming up soon. It is a dating segment right here on the Trending Show with Aladdin and Tani. Right. Um, we want to give a platform of those who want to date outside mm-hmm. of their culture, mm-hmm. trend yeah. and blend, you know. Mm-hmm. And we want to put some people together. Like, we're, we're going to serve as the host to, to be putting these folks together because I've gotten some inquiries and I know that you have too. Right. People actually like women message me wanting to hook them up with African men. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well now we have a platform for that. Mm-hmm. So if you are, if you desire to be a candidate mm-hmm. on uh, our show, trending and blending, and we are going to have a premiere around yeah. Valentine's yep. day, yep. Valentine's day weekend, then um, give us a DM. We'll be putting up more information as time goes on. So just be looking out for that. But you need to be real. We don't want, we don't want players no because we will make sure we do our research on you like what happened to your ex <laughs> we didn't just come on the program and we give you a very beautiful guy you're going to treat us <laughs> bare no right we want real people that are actually ready you need to be ready we, we, if possible we're going to be connecting you guys with the counselor that counsel you about marriage if you don't want to go into yeah. marriage you won't just be like a friend let us know you mm-hmm. i don't need the marriage i just need somebody to date it's or a I, difference. It's and a if you want difference. to get married we let we will connect with somebody that is also ready That's somebody right. that already know what marriage is all about so, so we we, we, we we handle that with you. So let's go on to the community uh, announcement of the day. Yes. But before we do that, let's go on a music break. Music So break. let me teach you another, another dance to this. Okay, all right. Maybe this shit will be the death of me. Say what I say with that fear, homie. I pick a fire without looking at the size of the next guy. Great I see that it's inside of me. Cause my mama did pray for me. No matter what, I know my God didn't do it for me. Man, look at God, that bitch doesn't no space for me. They say rapper, no fee blowing, no fee make money. Look at what I did, look at the shine. How I made the game looking like it never gon' die. How everybody really saying that I'm the guy. I gave you Bebo Black and I came back and did it twice. Run my race, now we have the party on the try my grace. But when I no get money, but they hide my face. But now I just forgive enough to hide my face. Yeah, I wake up and I run my way. Now we have the party, they want to try my grave. But when I no get money, I they hide my face. But now I just forgive enough to hide my face. Hey. Brody thing nice, don't need nobody People want me to beg, wanna stun on me But they stay taking that Turn the microphone on mommy's TV, baby We about to make it trending Trending, trending Trending with another time You know what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Mommy's TV and it's trending. trending. And it's here right here. You see this this young Africa, Africa, Ninja, and American Africa. I mean, I'm, I'm Africa. I don't want to You're Africa? I'm, yeah, I'm African from uh, Africa. All right. Nigeria, West all Africa. Right. The largest black 
chilling guys. Okay, well, I'm from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. How about that? <laughs> shout out to everyone like this. Shout out to um um shout out to Emiru in disguise. Shout out to Toby Mayer. And shout out to Otumba Adedeji. So right now, let's give them the uh, the community uh, announcements of the week. Yes, our community announcement. As we all know, Christmas is coming up. The holidays are up on us. And they are a lot of families in need, single parent households. And sometimes people just need help. We just want everyone to be aware of there are several um, resources. Right. out there to help families such as the Salvation Army, the Angel Tree. They give out um, gifts to your children for Christmas as well as, you know, they have food available. And we want you to know that you can also dial 211 for emergency bill assistance if you need help around this time because research shows over the past decades, decades in America, the oh. suicide rate goes up dramatically around the holidays because wow. people are so stressed out like behind giving gifts and bills and it's just we're suicide spikes so we don't want anybody to be depressed around christmas so we want to let you know that especially in the dallas fort worth area there are resources in the community to help you out so if you need any help or if you know anybody that's in need feel free to reach out to these resources that salvation army angel tree dial 211 to get community assistance and if you know someone and you're able if you know someone in need get with the friend get a gift basket together get the kids some gifts get yeah. you know some food together to help somebody out because we don't want anybody to be left out this is about the community we are trending but we're about the community as well yeah yeah it's mommy's mm -hmm. tv and it's trending we got a new sponsor uh uh, to support our shows and our branding, Mommy's Planet, Mommy's TV, support what we do. And her name is Adeyemi. Uh, Miss Adeyemi is, uh, uh, owns Adeyemi Love Fame PLLC. Oh, wow. Uh, she's into personal injuries and personal uh, injury uh, lawyer. So Adeyemi Love Fame is in business in Dallas and uh, she's into uh, injuries, specializing in uh, car accidents, wrongful okay. deaths, medical and mark practice and, and and so on and so forth so watch out for mrs adeyemi she's coming on our on our, on our show very soon and we have uh mrs duro jari katrin she's going to be live right here on our uh, training talk show uh, on episode eight that will be next week yes episode so she, eight yeah she's going to be live here uh she's into um uh cosmetics consultants she, mm -hmm. she she's, she's one of our, our great supporters she has been supporting us way back and uh, I wanted to watch out for her, and she's going to be here live and direct. Be looking out, episode eight. Episode eight. <laughs> and episode eight, we're going to be uh, giving you more uh, more, uh, more highlights about the dating segment. Yes. And how you can... Uh, uh, you can apply. Uh, you can apply, and uh, you, we, we have process. Not just like you, you, you know. Hey, Aladdin, give me a girl. No, <laughs> not like that. You have to go through some process. We have to send you mail. Screening. Read, uh, you know, there's a lot of screening out there. And we want to always tell people and tell people about us that if you have an event, you want us to come and host your event for you. We are ready to lock it down. We will and be shout there. out to all my <laughs> Dallas big boys. Last night was sold out. Sold out before twelve thirty. No more sitting in VIP. Wow, really. I know it's Mommy's Planet. Ah, Mommy's Planet always live. We try, man. We try, man. And shout out to uh, everybody supporting this platform, Mommy's Planet. Shout out Thank to you. all the uh, DNC crew. Uh, Baba Shoko on the building. <laughs> uh, shout out to my greatest, baddest, strongest producer, <laughs> Mr. Casey. Shout out to you. We, we really the appreciate best. your support. And, you know, and I tell you, this world is very simple. Ah, uh, shout mm -hmm. out to my another baddest brother in the building, Mr. <laughs> Ade Ogunkoya. <laughs> Majemu, uh, Mr. Ola Ogunkoya, Majemu America. Hey, I told you if you are in Dallas, Texas, in DFW, you want to do event. If you didn't include Mr. Ola Ogunkoya, you're famous. Now. My flop. <laughs> so you know what it is? It's Mommy's TV and it's his trending. And I want to uh, announce, I want you to announce the, mo the moments of the week. Yes, Mommy of the Week. This week's Mommy of the Week... She's actually a Nigel wife. Her wow. name is Miss Victoria Adesanya, and she is actually a mom. She's a Nigel wife. She's in the organization with me for American Woman Marriage, a Nigerian man, which wow. you know about the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Y'all, she is hilarious. But she's actually um, a business owner. She um, opened a restaurant here in Plano. Wow. Yes, and it is called the Music Grill. So y'all go. Wow. What, what kind of food do you have? Do you have oh, a American food. No, not a mala. <laughs> Not yet, not she, yet. She I don't need, know. She needs to add that. 
yeah, I don't know if she if they're um, planning on expanding to Nigerian food, but right now it's like just you know grill like bar food, mm-hmm. and then they have seafood as well. But she's also a cancer survivor. She wow. just survived a throat cancer just a few months ago, and she bounced wow. back from that like nothing, wow. and opened up the restaurant. So she is our mommy mm-hmm. of the week. She is a big supporter of the show. Oh, she's sure. always she's on fun. and sharing our yeah. show, and she's just a great person. So y'all go and support the Music Grill in Plano. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Mommy's TV and it's trending. Uh, I'm about to let you know something coming up in 2020, which is Mommy's Award. Mm-hmm. Mommy's Award uh, has been trending, has been there far back from Dubai, you know. Wow. And this year, we're going to throw out Mommy's Award. So listen to our trending talk show so you can know our nominees and people that are flying down from uh, Nigeria for the award. The face of Mommy's for this year is going to be Tony Lawani, the CEO of Tiana Empire. She's That's my one, girl. Yeah, that that, <laughs> that 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 woman. She's doing a very uh-huh. good job. She has been helping a lot of people, and she has been doing great. And she, uh, her kids are doing good too. That's why she's going to be the face of mommies for twenty twenty. So you got to all oh, water for other mommies that's going to be taking uh award at mommies award. And we are going to be the host. We are like five to six hosts, but we're going to be the lead host. So that's what I'm saying. If you have any <laughs> show coming up. Invite us. Let us come we'll through. Let's there. dialogue. And if you want to plan your event, let us know. We we'll work on your budget. We we'll let it make, we'll make it cool. Like you know, That's we know what right. I mean. And we have our own crowd. We have our own followers. We have our own fans. And know we go. We always make it cool. So it's Mommy's TV. And one thing I want to talk about again is let's try to support each other. Yes, always most especially each other. we blacks. Let's support right. each other. Social media is not a property that you can take to heaven or you <laughs> can just take so personal like that. If you have a friend that is doing something on social media, you cannot even like or you cannot even share. Say something about it. Simple. Tell that person, oh, you are trying. <laughs> yeah, yo, oh, you are encouraged. If you cannot give me money to support my show, you can't... Um, uh, you can Yeah, I know everybody is hustling in this world. It's not easy for anybody. But at least that your Facebook... Share my Share, show. Yes. Let people hear about us. Introduce us to people. Let us introduce yes. you to people too. We are open. <laughs> and if you're an upcoming artist, we need your music on our show. Just make sure it's good music. We have a lot of people that send us music and uh, when I, when we listen to you, but I don't know, please work more. Because you don't want to push your stuff there. When we know you have talent and we, we see you listen to your music, we sing too. I sing. She sing. We know mm-hmm. music. So don't send us crack music. Send us a good, good production music and we're going to make it trend on our show. It's Mommy's TV and it's trending. And before we go, we want you to know one thing. If you want to support Mommy's TV and Mommy's Planet and trending, just go to our page. They're going to write our handle out there. You can see our handle at, at Tani Otto Jones and at mm-hmm. uh, Mommy's Planet. Send us mail. If you have anything you want to discuss or you have anything you want to talk about or you want to uh, let us discuss a, uh, a topic, just let us know and we're going to shoot it out there and you know, we're always ready to support anybody in anything you want to do. So, Mommy of the Week is who is she and Victoria. So, do you have an address for this? For this? Uh, we have a lot of Americans oh, watching us. Maybe no. they want to go there. I don't have Next the address. Next week, we're going to be getting we'll the address it. so yes. you can go there and uh, support someone that is supporting us. So, let me say shout out to our vendors again before we run up the show for this week. Our number one uh, vendor is Mrs. Katrin Jurojaye and uh, she's coming on the program next week. And uh, we have uh, Trendy Touch Makeover on uh, Pioneer Parkway. And we have uh, Moroc Collections on Collins. And we have Glory, Buti- uh, Glory Boutique on Collins too. And if you want to sew African clothes, that you want to look African. If you're an American, you, you try to wear African clothes. Oh yeah, it's a lot go of that. to Collins and find out, my friend, I'm going to drop his number very soon, maybe next week. Uche Obasi, that's my own stylist, he's tying me, she's all my clothes, and he's doing real good. So before we go, when we have shows, we are doing this for the community. We are doing it to support each other. We are doing it to encourage right. ourselves. This is not a show that belongs to us. It's, it's for you, because you guys staying there to watch us is your time, and time in America is money. Yes. So let me say shout out back to people that have been staying right here to watch this show. Uh, shout out to Samson Alabi. Shout out to Euphoria, Euphoria. That's a designer. He's one of the, uh, he designed for Davido, he designed for big brands. Wow. Euphoria, Euphoria. Shout out to Olu Amani. Shout out to Sese Jacobs. Shout out to uh, Ado, Aderoju Ladega. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Charlie Gay Donatson. Shout out to Otumba Adereji Adekunle. And shout out to Tori Meyer. Shout out to Emiru Indi. Those are my guys in Indianapolis. <laughs> shout out to Uche Amadi. 
And shout out to Chuka Steven. And shout out to my baddest producer, Casey. That's my that's that's the person that is making all these juicy pictures and videos looking good. <laughs> shout out to him. And um, before we go, what do we have for the kids? Do you have anything to, to say to the kids? To the because kids. I, I have some kids are watching this too via my um my page. Ah, oh, some kid? Yeah, it's stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> stay in school. Stay in school. Get your, your education. Yeah. Listen to your parents. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> so before 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 we go, because today we came late and we are very, very sorry for coming late today. It's just because you want to make it happen. From next week, you're gonna be watching us live on YouTube channel Mommy's yes. TV. And we have uh, a rep a rep from Australia. Oh, Mari Obo is a motivational yeah. speaker and he's gonna be coming live to so to join us. Uh, mm-hmm. once in a while mm-hmm. on the show. So before we go, Tani, do you want us to do some little step? Let's Mr. Casey give us one we do one African music so I can teach you one new dance now. Yeah, that I'm down. But don't let anybody see this. This is gonna be coded dance.